Yes, UK MCs got diss tracks too. Go subscribe, subscribe. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Brews and Reviews. It's Knowledge, and today I'm reviewing Dave's. We're all in this alone together, and I am sipping on a Atwater Brewery Mango Wheat. This is a 4.9% coming in from Detroit, Michigan. So let's get into Dave's sophomore LP. Let's go. First off, I apologize for my absence. As you can see from my background, I've been moving. Took a little longer than I expected, but thankfully, I got some dope albums to review right off the bat. Like this great album from Dave. And first off, I gotta admit, I don't listen to a lot of UK rap. But I do love how the UK rap scene was so influenced by American music. Of course, hip hop is a strictly US art form. The UK getting it from them, but making it their own, introducing their own sound enough to in turn influence American artists is just like rock music in the 50s and the way that went down. Now we're seeing it happening with rap because the UK influenced the drill sound that we're hearing from Chicago and also artists such as Pop Smoke. And I was entranced by Dave's debut album. Great lyrics and storytelling unique voice, entrancing beats. It was just a beautiful project and really one of the best of 2019 of any country. And I was wondering when he would finally drop a sophomore album, two years, although not a lot in the past, is a lot these days for a young artist to go between albums, but now it's finally here. The title of this project is also intriguing and reportedly Dave got it from Hans Zimmer, the famous conductor who's done everything from The Lion King to The Dark Knight to Interstellar. He said this in a conversation with Dave. He said, we're all alone in this together. And I think that's a brilliant way to sum up the pandemic. And Dave has picked it up and created other metaphors from this title alone. We are all alone is the first track and the beat is really a continuation of what we heard on Psychodrama. Very introspective piano, thoughtful, emotion sparking, vocal harmonies, almost spooky in a way, yet introspective. And when the beat drops out and the piano goes, the lyrics follow on that introspective tip. And there are great lines throughout the song, such as, I got a message from a kid on Sunday morning, said he don't know what to do and that he's thinking of killing himself. Me and him got more in common than he thinks, but I tell him to see a shrink so I can go on and live with myself. That sounds a lot better with the accent, just like many of these lines that I'll quote throughout this review, but Dave does it justice. And not only that line, but not to mention the contradictory line that he has about wanting his flowers while he's living so he can put him on the grave that he's dug for himself. Just brilliant wordplay on this opening track. Verdansk, another chill, introspective beat, but Dave is basically talking shit on this about how he can go anywhere he wants, turn down the finest women, and live with wealth, but he's actually talking this shit intelligently. Clash, this was the single that dropped before the album and it features another UK heavyweight in Stormzy. And if you want a definition of the drill sound, this is the track with the rolling bass that's over some obscure melodies. And Dave has some great wordplay on this. He says, awkward one, race me there, wait hair, tortoise one. 
I need a Tang 30 plus Blackberry and Walkman one. Proving in the first line he took his time waiting between albums to do it right like the tortoise who took his slow to win the race. And the second line, he needs a cougar, maybe a woman that had a Blackberry and a Walkman. And hey, I remember both of those things. I was around for those. Stormzy coming in with some fire and some smoke. He's going after MC Chip, who apparently he's had a little bit of a long-standing beef with. Yes, UK MCs got diss tracks too. In the fire, there's a great sample on this posse cut. And a posse cut it is. MCs are going bar for bar. And this features some great UK MCs. We got Frito, Meeks, Gets and gigs. And again, I don't know much about the history of these dudes or the music scene in the UK in general, but what I do feel like on this posse cut is it's doing what it should, and every MC is outdoing the one who comes before it. And some things about music are universal. I love it on US posse cuts when the beat changes for. For each MC that's coming on and that's exactly what the beats doing on this track and I know there's a ton of one-liners on this posse cut some of which I'm not catching because of the language barrier but I really love this one by Getz he says I'm focused I don't need to burn the kush this is Moses speaking from the burning bush I stood in front of the fire and learned to cook Finished my verse and never heard a hook. Three Rivers. This is one of the best tracks lyrically on the project. And I'm going to start it off with some lyrics. Dave says, imagine a place where you raise your kids. The only place you live says you ain't a Brit. They're deporting our people and it makes me sick. Because they was broken by the country that they came to fix. Dave's getting really deep with the lyrics now and he's touching on some history. This is about after World War II, many immigrants came over from the Caribbean islands and those were actually colonies of the UK so they should have been British citizens and they were coming to rebuild after the labor shortage that followed World War II. Yet after they rebuilt the country, they weren't considered citizens and some of them were deported. It's just wrong. And it is crazy to understand the racism that existed in other countries besides the U.S. because we know the long history of racism in America. And I'm really learning a lot of British history here. Dave goes on to address the British involvement in the Middle East, which is very similar to the U.S. And he says, look, imagine a world that's fucked and untrue, where the many pay a price for the few. And every day the sun rises a little later. That's how it is when your oppressor is your liberator. System featuring WizKid has that island Caribbean style vibe that we heard on a few tracks on Dave's debut project such as Location featuring Burna Boy, one of the standouts. And this really highlights how Dave is one of the few artists, UK or US, that can walk the line between great lyrics and party music. Very rare. Lazarus, produced by J5, who's one of my favorite UK producers. He produced some of the best tracks for Dave on Psychodrama, and he's also produced some great tracks for Burna boy and Jay Huss, some of the best imported artists that I listen to. And we got the guest star on this, B-O-J or Baj, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but the chorus is crazy. It's in Nigerian and it almost sounds like he's just spitting the same syllable over and over again, but there is a unique translation of this track. Law of Attraction.
attraction featuring Snow Allegra, and I would say she's probably more prominent, well-known than Dave in the U.S., and this is a very commercial-sounding track, the most commercial-sounding track on the project. Can't say I'm a huge fan of this, but it's not detracting from the style as a whole. It is, in fact, a good crossover track, and it falls in line with what I'm hearing that many are saying that this is a well-rounded album. Both sides of a smile to be the juxtaposition of the previous track. This could almost be commercial because it features James Blake doing some harmonizing, but at the same time, this is so off kilter and weird, just a strange, unique beat that somehow works and even the vocals when James Blake is singing are just so off kilter but somehow appealing. Even in the verses it continues the crazy structure of a song as Dave's voice morphs into Shah Simone's as they're talking about relationship struggles and she says there's plenty waiting for chances Ask me if I'm taken, I say taken for granted. The second verse gets even more epic with James Blake humming in the background and Dave spitting some introspective bars, mostly about how money can't buy love. 20 to 1. This is crazy on some Pink Floyd synced up with some Wizard of Oz shit. It's like that. First of all, 20 to 1. The title sounds like 2021 or 2021, which is, of course, the year that we're in. But not only that, this album dropped at midnight, and it's exactly an hour long. That always boggles my mind when an artist can sequence something to be a certain time frame, and this was no doubt on purpose exactly an hour long. This track is 40 minutes in, making it play at exactly 20 to 1 a.m. had you started this when it dropped at midnight. UK or US, it doesn't matter. Dave's on another level. And this whole first verse is sung well by Dave himself. And the second verse is epic. It's about everything, as Dave says, through the fire and through the war, through the death and through the birth through the pleasure and through the pain, through the drought and through the rain, through the dark and through the day, through the love and through the hate. And this is even more badass when we get his accent on it because he's saying, through, through, through the fire and through the war, through the death and through the birth, through the heart attack, a little double entendre as Dave is talking about the knife violence like a knife through the heart in London, which is a little crazy because we know about all the gunplay in America that they have this knife epidemic of violence in the UK, but the way he describes it still sounds ominous nonetheless. And really the range that he's spitting in the whole track is apparent in only four bars where he says, most of the women that I know had shit happen to them. So innocent till guilty ain't nothing I have to respect. I think back to my youth and I was so ungrateful. How many of our parents had dreams they abandoned so they could put food on the table. And another line, I was in intensive care when I was born. Mommy fell down the stairs. When I was going to live or not was something uncertain. I use the word fell with the commas inverted. You see, growing up, I had it far from perfect. Damn, bro. This dude's saying that he almost died when he was a newborn because somebody pushed his mom down or made her fall with the commas inverted. Survivor's guilt and even considering some of the great lyrics on the previous track, I think this is some of the best lyrics on the album. Dave says, 
Look, let me show you behind the scene, behind the glance and the glimmer and all the lights you see, behind the rumors on the life I lead. Let me talk to the people like it's the mic and me. The truth is I got really bad anxiety. I'm on the motorway crying in the driver's seat. I don't even know where I'm going. I got love, but I don't know how to show it. Is this life? Putting a perspective on the life of a touring musician that I really never considered. He says, nerves paralyzing when you get to the stage. You feel love for an hour, then it gets to fade. Imagine what that does to your mental state. Bar for bar, Dave is really holding it down here. I don't know that I could call this better or even equivalent to his debut. I like Psychodrama better. There is a little more on the commercial side here, but he still expresses the deep emotional lyrics that we heard on his first project throughout this sophomore project. He's truly a unique voice and has that balance that we don't hear often. The thing like people like Kanye are going for between conscious and hype and Dave just does it naturally. So really this ends up being one of the standout projects of the year. I'm going to give this a nine out of a 12 pack. Thank you for watching my review of Dave's We're All Alone in This Together. If you like this, go ahead and hit like now and hit me up in the comments. If you didn't like it, also let me know why in the comments. I drop hip hop and pops related content consistently. So until I see you next time, keep up. Fucking man says subscribe. But if he's on his channel saying that somebody album is better than mine, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. your, your album's the best, man. There you go. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe.